communication has the same stuff as the category before. Uh, go to utilities, we have file manager, calculator, clock, notes, and a PDF reader. Settings, you have your standard stuff. Um, categorizing the computer like control panel, as well as uh, your more Series 60 application manager. And in extras, by standard, you have a chess program, blocks, uh, Mejong, and marbles. But you can also put in, as I said before, third party application. Here I've got a version of Quake, version of Doom. You may see some um, similarities now. Um, we have another expansion for Quake um, the Scum VM uh, old PC emulator for classic point and click adventure games. We got a little typing program here, a paint one, a pigeon messenger, a remote desktop and a program to link your um, tablet to your phone in the way of reading your text on your tablet. You can link your phone to your tablet normally in getting an internet connection from your phone when there's no Wi-Fi available. You can link them both via Bluetooth to get the 3.5 G or whatever connection your phone supports. Also you'll notice uh, running applications appear down here much like your normal task manager on a computer. So if I click on the globe it should bring us back to all about Symbian's website. And if I click on the switch application button here we can go back to home. Here we'll see we have the RSS reader here which we can customize to not just one particular feed but several feeds and they all get mixed up depending on how soon they were released opposed to just having one section for one website one section for another which is a great way to do things okay if you have any questions about the interface of the N8010 I should have the device for a little while at least um, so please put your request in as soon as possible and I'll try and put some more video features out on what you actually want to see. This has been Luvian again.